Hey guys, welcome to, uh, I think we're on day 10 of Vlogtober now. And a lot of you guys are always asking me, what do I think of Ellie's Fuji X-T10? So today I'm gonna to run you through my thoughts of this whilst I'm out taking some photos in Pattaya, Thailand. If you're new to my channel, hey there, my name is Joe Allen and I make videos about the creative travel lifestyle. So, let's go. So I'm not necessarily gonna be going through the hardware on this camera. Uh, I just want to be seeing it as I'm using it. So I don't really want to be just reviewing, you know, the specs of this because there's plenty of videos that go through that. I want to do it from a point of view of being a Canon shooter, potentially switch into Fuji if it's the right system. I've used this camera quite a few times um, when we've been out traveling this year. Uh, but I've never really gone through and explained my thoughts from a usability point of view. Uh, so I'm going to go and take some photos today and share those as well as my thoughts on using this. So one of the things that I've always enjoyed about using this camera is that all of your controls and everything are right on the top here. So you have your shutter dial, and you just spin that around to whatever and then your aperture ring is on the lens itself just like an old school film camera really we've also got an exposure comp here so if you are on anything that's auto you can dial it up or down nice and easy So the one thing that I always enjoy about this camera compared to my Sony, which is what Ellie's filming on at the moment, is the viewfinder is just so natural to use. As soon as you look through it, you get a immediate response. And as soon as you take the picture, it only shows for literally half a second. And if you saw my video yesterday with my faults of using the Sony with photography, that is something that I'm very comfortable using. This is such a presenter video. <laughs> but yeah, I think it works all right. something about all the crazy wires and close buildings in Asia. It's just so photogenic. I love it. So something else that is amazing with these Fuji cameras is the color representation. So if you're shooting in, even in JPEGs, the colors come out amazing. But if you shoot in RAW, you can go through all of the Fuji picture profiles post taking the shot. And that's actually really quite cool because you can then change the style of your imaging based on the old Fuji film simulations. The build quality of this is also pretty good. In the photos, everyone always thinks it looks plasticky, but it's not. It's actually like a nice metal body. Um, and this is the 35mm f2 XE lens, by the way. XF lens, not XE, what am I about? As I said, I'm not doing a full hardware review. I'm just seeing what my experience is like using it. So we've now come to one of the food market areas and up there is one of Ellie's favourite places to get mango sticky rice. Hello, can I take a photo? Toy bananas. That was actually a really cool shot of the guy. The images that come out of this camera are always super sharp. <laughs> that was such a TV way of <laughs> cutting from that to that. Yeah, the images are always super sharp from this camera. Um, the lens itself, with it being a prime lens at 35mm, is just really nice to use. Um, just makes you think so much more when you're using prime lenses and that's why I enjoy them so much. Should we carry on up and go left again and see what's up that way? Maybe. I think there's definitely a shot here. And this is where 35mm isn't quite wide enough. It's just something about air conditioning units that always looks really good in photos. I don't know why. Just 
does. Just stay there a minute, I'm gonna get a shot behind you. <laughs> if I drop my shutter, let's go manual to 130th. Set my aperture auto just to make it quick. And we'll get a bit of motion blur. Come on, let's get a bike. Here we go, here we go. Got it. And then should we have a look at the photos? It's nice that this has a flip out screen as well. So you can, if you really want to, you can shoot from the hip. Just like that. That was actually really nicely framed. So as I mentioned at the start, this is the X-T10, which is kind of like the, uh, the prosumer hobbyist photographer's camera. There is also the X-T2, which recently came out, and I'd love to get my hands on that to you know, see how that is for professional use. It's also got F-Log video. Now you guys know that I love log video, especially from that Sony there. So maybe if I get myself one of those cameras, I'll test it out and I'll make another one of these videos. Okay. 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 So I'm running through my final thoughts on using this camera. First and foremost, I am super happy I recommended it to Ellie because that means that I get to use it. But mainly, this is just such a fun camera to use. As a travel photographer, it's easy to just pick up and just take with me. I don't even have to worry about carrying any extra lenses and stuff, but I know that the Fuji lenses are super sharp and of a premium quality. So the main thing for me is that it's just so natural to use. It's just really comfortable. I get shots, I get the results. Yes, the quality of the images isn't as high as the Sony, but the fact that I actually get the shots makes it so much more worthwhile for me. So if you are looking to maybe try out a Fuji camera or switch to Fuji, I definitely recommend it. And get yourself an X-T10. If you purchase through the links in the description below, you'll be helping my channel out and you'll be doing it with no extra cost to yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm gonna be having a lot more photography, particularly travel photography. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Oh my god, what is on my nose? <laughs> is your nose really like vinegary? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Let's try it one more time, gotta nail it. Here we go. <laughs> Shake it off. So if you are looking to buy a Fuji, <laughs> head to the description below and you'll find links to all of the cameras. I don't know what this is. It's gone through a variety of different accents. It's also gone through like a feminine to a masculine. Who knows where it's gonna go next? All right. I don't know who that is. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments below. Everyone always says that, don't they? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment down under. Let me know what you think about this video. I've actually had a blast making this. So it's been a bonza effort. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. So my overall thoughts on this camera. Fuck off. <laughs>